Okay, next, we are going to learn how to create effects for the lighting itself. Primarily, creating glow effects on the bedside lamps. So, glow, creating glow effects would add a more interesting view to the overall render. And uh, a lot of times, we would use Photoshop to create such effects. But we can, in fact, do all these all these glow effects inside 3D Studio Max itself. So we're going to learn how to do this. Let's open up 07 glow effect dot max file like this. We will start by working on the lamp shape on the left here. And then we will create another effect for the lamp shape on the right. Let's start by going to rendering effects and click on the add button here and look for lens effects and then click OK and inside here under the lens effects parameters here there will be a glow effect down here so we will click the arrow head on the right here to create this effect to add this effect inside so we will minimize all the headers here so that it will be less confusing for us this way. So we start with looking at the Lens Effects Globals here. We expand this part and then we will create the size to be 35 and then the intensity we will just set it at 30. This will affect the lens effects on a global scale here, that means around the scene. And once we are done with this, we can now collapse the header and expand on the glow element. This is the one that will actually control the brightness and the color of the glow effect itself. So we will rename this one, this glow to be Glow Lamp Shape L. And when we will change, and then we will change the size to 35. Okay, and then we will now change the color. So under radio color, if we click on this one, this button here, then the color selector palette will appear. So we are going to change the color to 255, 205, and 5. So that this color becomes a rich orange tone. And we'll click OK. And once we are done with this, we can now close this dialog box. And now we can select the lamp, the lamp shape light source on the left to add that effect in. So we will use the select by name function here. We will click on this button. And then we will look for BR4 bedside lamp source L, this one. And then we will click OK. And under the Atmospheres and Effects header, we will click Add. And then inside here, we will now click on the Lens Effects. And then we will click OK. Notice after we are done, the Lens Effects will appear here. And now we can go to, we can activate the viewport, the activate the camera viewport here, and then go to rendering, and click on render. Once you're done, you will notice that there will be a glow effect here. So it makes the, the rendering a little bit more interesting compared to the one without on the right at the moment. So the difference is quite obvious here. So next, we are going to work on the one on the right. Now, there is a reason why we need to set up the lens effects for each of these lights here. Okay, let me explain. Now, because the lamp distance is further away from the camera's um, standpoint, the camera's uh, location point, 
for this one on the left compared to the one on the right. So if we were to use the same effect on this lamp here, it is going to appear much smaller for this particular lamp on the right here. So in order to do this, we need to create another if another similar lens, this glow effect here. But this needs to be bigger because it is to be applied on the lamp on the right. Because the distance of the lamps on the right here will be closer to the camera point here. Okay, so we're going to click on clone rendered frame window to be able to track the progress. So I'm going to just close this render window and then minimize this. So I'm going to pretty much repeat the same process here by going to rendering, going to effects, and now click on add again. Same, lens effects, OK. And add in the glow and click on the arrow head to add in the effects itself. So once this is done, I will minimize these headers here so that it doesn't become too confusing. And under the lens effects globals again, we need to change this. We need to change the value now. This time round, instead of 35, we will key in 75. And the intensity, we will keep it at 30 for now. And next, we will minimize this and click on the glow element again. And this time round, we're going to rename this as glow lamp shape R. And then we will change the size to 75 for this one also. Then we will next click on the radio color here to change it to 255, 205 and 5. So we will maintain the same color here and click OK. Again when done, we will close this dialog box and we will go to the select by name function and click on it and look for BR4 bedside lamp source R and then we will click OK and once inside here we will click on add and notice here once another effect has been created it will append to the next one at the lowest here so just do not get confused, we are going to choose the lens effects for the very last one down here. And then we will click OK. And from here, we are done. So we can, we can select this camera viewport here, and then go to rendering, and then render again. So when complete, we can now see that compared to the previous render down here, okay, compared to the previous rendering here, this is with only one glow and this one has two glow lamps both on the left and the right here this way. like that.